All right, hello everyone and welcome back or and welcome to part two of this replay. Still going to continue this fight once more. LZ able to push his way through, clear out that creep wave. And this is, oh, Brandon maybe in a bit of trouble. Brandon is 2v1, but he was able to barely slip by. But in comes Ion as well. Ion trying to push it and now a putrefy onto it and now taken down by the nuke. Meanwhile, it looks like Atheist now trying to fight back even further. It looks as though Atheist will be able to pull back. Both sides relatively low on hit points. Ion needs to get out of there. Chan and everyone else. Yes, it looks like this battle will reset as another fight happening over here Vorpal doing a good job just trying to level up and getting in a lot of creep kills to be a stronger stronger carry he currently has a three level advantage over most of the other um other units out there and a level one advantage over lz the opposing carry it looks like Vorpal and Rancor will be uh, rushing down into the bottom in just a moment. No, they're going to move back into the middle. This t bottom tier 2 tower has been destroyed and the top tier 2 tower has been destroyed as well. So it is going to be a matter of time before the Zerg are going to be able to push in further and further. Meanwhile, Biotron desperately now needs to run away. It does get taken down there. Uh, those little infested, a uh, little just what infested Terrans able to deal so much damage as now we see even more and more units coming back in a nice nuke bringing in and what is going to happen here Lalu uh, getting pushed a uh, push to the side by that civilian takedown once more and we'll see what exactly Biotron tries to do here and in, in the center lane and what the Protoss try to do here in the center lane Lalu only sitting at level 11 and it looks as though someone wants to try to uh, nope no one's going to try to take down the Leviathan yet and no one has ever tried oh, no one has tried to take down Aeon just quite yet as both sides are in position and just you know aberrated Claymore essentially just teleporting all over the place the time scale on um, on Biotron so so very fast as, and then able to just burrow itself and then come back in very very quickly Kerrigan now desperately running away once more and now Biotron continuing to run around and a lot of damage being dealt it looks like Ion's gonna get taken down this Ion is now down and now both sides still fighting out and it looks like Convict gets taken down as well it looks like Atheist may get taken down no Atheist able to barely survive and run away Lalu is low on hit points and what is continuing to happen here as Lalu oh no it's said Vesper Lalu Chan both sides oh a pluck coming back in and oversoul Brandon does do a quick heal somehow and perhaps eating one of those and little civilian Terrans and now even more damage and oh Brandon at 26 hit points finally gets sniped down and there comes in another pluck LZ now going after Lalu Lalu may be in a bit of trouble Lalu no he looks like he just got a little bit of support from his own uh, partner there in Oversoul now in comes the pluck I'm not quite sure what that was about as Atheist now trying to run away and oh able to get the kill off there but Lalu gets killed as well so yeah, I'll, you'll have to figure out what exactly happened there in that battle. A lot of crazy back and forth act action. The engagement now 10 to 21. You, I'm sure you guys could freeze that screen better than I could in terms of catching the total scores and who is currently in the lead. Now, the poor Leviathan constantly just trying to take down these little civilians. Brandon now trying to clear out, trying to keep these tier 3 tower or tier 2 towers alive. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Esper, the Vorpal getting some very strong items, Oversoul getting some strong items as well, and Drake getting some very strong items, and um, each of them picking up some early beacons get to get some easy damage there as I own still wandering around still. Now, taking a look at how everyone is currently working out so far, Lalu still continuing this push up the middle. We'll see how he's going to work out, whether or not he's going to be able to finish and take down this tier 3 tower. Drake, very, very deep behind enemy lines, but running into the south forest where Esper, uh, Vorpal, and Viron currently is. And now should be able to clear this out, but Raincore, and oh, in comes a pluck. Is it going to be enough, Raphael Angelo? Now able, able to get off a nuke there, slowing down some of the units. Both sides trying to do this um, crazy engagement on the south, and it looks like the majority of the of the battles are going to be taking place in the south here, as both sides are pushing in. Vorpal is a little bit like what, low on life, but Atheist even lower on life, now trying to run in with the Immortal Solace. In comes the toilet, dealing even more damage, more damage over time as well. Chan now trying to run away. It looks as what is going to happen. Another uh, hero has taken been taken down over there. I believe it was Chan Brandon now trying to run away. He's down to 400 hit points. And now doing a quick smoke screen and now trying to push back once more. And able to apparate a Claymore once more in order to get away. So defensively... 
using aberrated claymore but i own now just constantly dropping down um infested infested terrans into this photon cannon and this tier 3 tower is starting to fall especially as there is no creep wave right behind it brandon could easily um, push back over here and then put in additional pressure there is still this tier 2 tower and this tier 2 tower as well the bottom tier 2 tower already down to below 10 percent of its total hit points as the roaches and hydras are now starting to push in that bone boom ring should be able to finish off that creep wave rather nicely now i own looks as though he's just going to sit here and wait you can see that there is a lot of units coming in no scanners no chrono elixirs to catch i own just currently burrowed here there's a scanner sweep and now i own trying to get away it looks as though he is going to oh able to teleport past and now aberrated claymore out once again but a putrefied now on to i own i own is going to be in a bit of trouble i own now trying to run away is he going to be able to make away and it is down yes he gets taken down but after i believe lz no uh, yeah lz got taken down as well and now a quick pluck not hitting august rush though august rush now trying to run away it looks like he's not going to be able to as another nuke falls in from the skies chan now chasing after rafiangelo rafiangelo apparently able to run away once more there is a chrono elixir and will it be able to stun him in time i do not believe so but I believe this tower should get taken down in just a moment as Lalu should be able to finish this creep wave very easily and then have the reinforcements to take down this uh, this level 2 or tier 2 cannon. Vorpal now off to the north over here. He has what a lot of serrated cleavers and the pyre. He should be able to take down the Leviathan relatively easily. Just here from the high ground, attacking and attacking. We'll see whether or not he's going to be able to do anything. His attacks are only doing 0.5 damage per hit right now, and he's critically in for one damage each. Now just continue to push in LZ. Oh, I believe LZ was able to get Vorpal, and now in comes Atheist. Atheist now trying to push in. Chan gets taken down as well, but Atheist is in a bit of trouble. A nuke hits him his own immortal soulless trapping him there but a putrefied now on oversoul oversoul now trying to run away it looks like oversoul should be able to barely run it or make it away as there is a mandrake and that mandrake does have a superheated mantle in order to uh, melt many of the infested herons before they get there now back over here a swarm of infested herons now attempting to take down this photon cannon as this tier 2 cannon has been destroyed only the middle lane is currently up and running for tier 2. Everything else is now a base hugging. And we'll see whether or not Protoss will be able to mount an enormous comeback and get back into this game. Now, I don't quite know who the Protoss initiator is right now. Um, trying to take a look at it. Um, T-Bone could be able to launch a couple a couple uh, brownstone totems in order to initiate but that's not really going to be able to deal all too much you can see biotron hiding off over here and t-bone off over here you can take a look at the level 16 15 13 13 12 against 15 15 19 13 14 so oh in comes another pluck rafiangelo is going to quickly get taken down as epilogue was used by mandrake to knock the um, unit into the air and now just going to be a matter of time before he tries to push in once more lalu is just currently walking around he does have a tpi in order to get a better time scale in, and also reduce the amount of channeling time it does take in order to cast epilogue uh, always one of those very nice abilities if you're able to channel um, if you have a channeling ability using a, a you know a tpi or an hsg and in comes a, a Oh, a toilet, a toilet, and that's going to be very bad. Lalu may be able, oh, able to barely escape once more. It looks as though Chan and all those units are pulling back there. A nice blink um, past the the totems or the porta potties there, able to be able to uh, once again run away. But Drake, he is in a bit of trouble. He does not have a carapace, and without a carapace, he cannot really engage here. And I believe the GG will be coming in in just a moment. And there we go. Um, I thought the game was going to be longer. Uh, they're going to be trying to fight it out, but Lalu, and there is the surrender. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, I didn't know how long the game was. There's still a lot of ga game left on the replay timer, but uh, no more game happening here. Let's see if I can take a look at the final scores. There we go. Taking a look at the final scores here. Atheist, Convict, Brandon, Raffiangelo, August Rush. August Rush dying a total of eight times alongside Raffiangelo. So not quite... Not quite bait playing up to par in this time this time around. Meanwhile, Oversoul with 10 kills and 14 assists. Um, perhaps one of the MVPs in this particular battle. Able to constantly uh, fight all the time. 
Esper doing a great job as Vorpal playing the main carry, only dying once with 12 assists as well, getting in a lot of kills and just being able to carry that team. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.